In the name of God, the All-Merciful, the Ever-Merciful, and Allah's blessings and peace be upon our Prophet Muhammad and upon his pure family. Peace be upon your respected viewers and welcome to another episode of the Shia Calendar Program. Today is the happy occasion of the birthday of Imam Jawad alayhi salam. His sacred father was Imam Arida, Allah's blessings and peace be upon him, and his holy mother was an Egyptian woman named Sabiq, who was descended from a tribe to which Maria al-Qibtiyya, one of the holy prophet's wives, belonged to. She was a really good woman concerning virtues and was among the best women for her age. She was called by Imam Rida, a very faithful and virtuous woman. Rayhana and Khizaran were other names of Imam Jawad's mother. Imam Jawad, Allah's blessings and peace be upon him, experienced the reign of two Abbasid caliphs, Ma'mun and Mu'tasim, during his imamate. Imam Rida, Allah's blessings and peace be upon him, had foretold the birth of Imam Jawad to his companions. For instance, one night he called for Hakima Khatun, his sister, and said to her, You, Hakima, tonight the sacred son of Khaizaran is born, and you must be with her. Then he said, When Khaizaran gives birth, stay with her for seven days. Hakima Khatun says, It was late at night that Riza's son was born. While he was covered with light, the light was spreading from the windows and there was no need to the light of the candles and torches. I took the child into my arms and put the curtain aside from his face. Hakima adds, at that moment Imam Jawad, Allah's blessings and peace be upon him, was born. He said, I testify that there is no God but Allah and that Muhammad is truly his messenger. And also on his birthday, when he sneezed, he said, Praise be unto God, and may God salute Muhammad and the guiding Imams. When Hakima heard Imam Jawad, Allah's blessings and peace be upon him, saying these sentences, she rushed to Imam Rida, Imam Jawad's father, and said that she had seen strange things from the son. Imam Rida, Allah's blessings and peace be upon him, said, What has surprised you, O Hakima? talked about the sentences at the birth time and what the child said when he sneezed. Imam Rida said, You, Hakima, you will see much greater things from him in the future. Muhammad ibn Talha Shafi'i, that was in 652 after Hijrat, says, Though he was so young, but he was so precious and great. Ibn Hajar al-Maythami says, Ma'mun selected him as his son-in-law. That was because despite his young age, he was really great in science, knowledge, and patience. In the family of the eighth Imam, and of course among all Shi'ats, Imam Jawad, Allah's blessings and peace be upon him, was considered as a sacred newly born, and this belief fruits back to what Imam Rida said. He mentioned this matter in several occasions. Here are some examples. Abu Yahya Sinani says, One day I was sitting next to Imam Riza, alayhi salam. His child Abu Jafar, who was a young child, was taken there as well. Imam Riza, Allah's blessings and peace be upon him, said, No child is born who is so blessed for our Shiats. Ibn Isbat and Abadat ibn Ismail say, We met Imam Riza, Allah's blessings and peace be upon him, and Abu Jafar, Imam Jawad, was taken there as well. We asked, is this the blessed child? Imam Rida answered, Yes, this is the child. No one in Islam was born such a blessed like him. The witness for such interpretation is the objection of Hussein ibn Qayyam al Wasiti, who wrote a letter to Imam Rida in this regard. Ibn Qayyam was a leader of Waqifiyya. He wrote a letter to Imam Rida and accused him of sterility. He wrote, how is it possible that you claim to be an imam while you do not beget a child? Imam Rida, Allah's blessings and peace be upon him, replied, How do you know that I will have no children? Then he continued, I swear to Allah that in few days and nights God will bless me with a son that according to him truth and bane will be parted from one another. Such negative propaganda by the followers of al waqifiyya was not limited to this one example. It was repeated in several other occasions and situations. And in all those cases, Imam Rida, Allah's blessings and peace be upon him, would reply to them, I swear to Allah that this would be no long that a son from my blood will be born and will replace me. He will survive the truth and destroy the vain. 
That was why Imam Rida and Shi'ats were under the pressure of their enemies and this finished when Imam Jawad was born and all negative propaganda of enemies were undone. So foretelling of Imam Rida, Allah's blessings and peace be upon him, came true and Imam Rida was strengthened by this incidence. This upgraded the position of Shias as well. Since Imam Jawad السلام, was the first Imam who was chosen for this position during his childhood, he had some debates and discussions that some of them are extremely important and useful. The reason why such debates existed was from one side there would be no doubts about his being Imam among Shiites because of young age, although Shiites leaders had no doubt about it. So to make sure and as a test, they used to ask several questions to the Imam. On the other side, during those ages, the Mu'tazila were in power and this school, which extremely used the power of reasoning and logic, has spread among thinkers of the age and even the government supported it. These people raised complicated questions in the area of logics and as they thought wanted to defeat Imam Jawad, Allah's blessings and peace be upon him, in the field of sciences. Imam's debate with Yahya ibn Aktham and Imam's achievement of success in this debate and Yahya's defeat and also Imam's debate with Ibn Dawood and the chief judge in which Imam defeated them are examples of such debates. It's one of the enemy's plans. In the present time, we should insist upon the truth and should not be afraid of these traps. We should have faith that by insisting on the truth, the lies of the enemies will be undone. Today is also birthday of Ali Yun al-Azhar, Allah's blessings and peace be upon him. Since of the day of Ashura, he was just six months old, his birthday must be on this day as well. Some others believe that his birthday was on the 8th or 9th of Rajab. His name was Abdullah, who was also known as Ali Yun al-Azhar. His sacred father was Imam Hussein, Allah's blessings and peace be upon him, and his mother was Rabab, daughter of Umru al Qais al Kilabi. His murderer was Harman bin Kahil, Allah's curses be upon him. We hear that some of Imams are called Babul Hawaj, which means a gate to the desires. They are called so because whenever someone has a request or wish from Allah and he looks for some suitable person for praising, these people are the best ones. In other words, these people can be the link between people and God for the coming true of their dreams and desires. Hopefully through them our wishes come true if they are good for us. The 10th of Rajab is the birthday of the youngest companion of Imam Hussein on the day of Ashura. He was just six months old at the time of his martyrdom and he was later entitled as Babul Hawaj. Imam Hussein Ali salam called him Ali as he called his other two sons because of his great and extreme love for his father Ali bin Abi Talib salam. He called his son Ali and he said, meaning Imam Hussein, if God gives me a thousand sons, I will call all of them Ali. This name is a symbol of all goodness and virtues. Abdullah al-Radi, the child which is only breastfed, or Ali al-Azhar, a son of Imam al-Hussein. Ali al-Azhar, because of his childhood, had no role in this event of Ashura, but he had a very important spiritual role with his martyrdom, those people who had still some hints of manhood understood that the enemy is so brutal, tough and oppressor that they have no mercy even toward a young child. In the supplement of Anahi al muqaddasa it said about this young child, Assalamu ala Abdullah ibn al-Hussein al-Tafl al-Radi' al-Marm al-Sari' al-Mutashahit al-Dama al-Musa'a al-Damahu fi al-Sama' al-Madbuh bil-Sam fi hijri abih la'an Allah rami harmala bin kahl al-Asadi also is on the supplement of Ashura, it said, this child is also called nursling the six-month-old Babul Hawaij, and so on. In the month of Rajab, we should look for the best way to contact God. Being oppressed is always followed by being popular. This is something very normal. However, more apparent about this six-month murder of Karbala, the child who was a symbol of innocence of his father, this is the end of today's episode of the Shia Calendar program.
until we meet with another episode. Thank you very much indeed for being with us. And assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.